My name is Matt McCullough. I work with the DC office of Disability Rights, the ADA Compliance Office for the District Government. I am the Communications Manager. For 20 years of the ADA has been tremendous for the disability community, yet we have, we have so far to come. For example, in my line of work, I have to constantly remind people that the ADA is just not a piece of paper. That it's about behavior change and having, having people think through why are they doing their job in terms of serving people with and without disabilities in terms of accessible, accessible services, programs, and, and activities. And it's a behavior change. and. I learned that people have to understand that it's just not a piece of paper, but it's um it's having people go through change themselves in terms of having them understand that it's a civil rights, it's a human rights um activity so to speak and so um so there you go. That's what the ADA means to me. The ADA has impacted my life personally simply because I learned that, that I've been placed in a very fortunate situation where I can advocate on the behalf of people with disabilities and their family members in terms of making sure that their rights are protected and make sure that they also have, a, some have access to the appropriate programs and activities that they need in order to be productive and independent citizens within their communities. And so so I learned that that I can help people in terms of helping them understand how they can navigate through governmental systems and helping them understand that um, that there is the entity that protects their rights and helping them helping them um, be independent, productive citizens in terms of the EDA, um, I mentioned this previously in the past um, responses to questions that the ADA is just not a policy that people have to follow. It's all about um, helping people understand that they're imp implementing a certain policy to impact their, their own lives in the long term. For example, I remind people in my line of work that that as they grow older, they will most li most likely join the disability um, community in terms of acquiring acquiring different disabilities such as becoming blind or, or not being able to move around. And so, so I want them to fully understand that they're not doing the type of work for that community for that person, but they're also taking it from a human rights perspective where they're doing it for, for their loved ones, for themselves as well down the road. And so, so people will have to continue to think about how are they um, continue, continue, uh, continuously um, doing, doing the type of work to, to be inclusive of everybody in the community.